Okay, I don't know if this is even on, but I'm willing to bet it is. So, uh, hi, welcome back to Chrono Trigger. I've played nonstop. It. So, for those of you who don't know, uh, I there's no face cam for this because it's just going to be the Mesa Moon fight. Um, but for those of you who don't know, uh, what basically happened was I went to go play... Uh, I, I went to go play, um, holy cow, I love crits. I went to go play, uh, Chrono Trigger, and it had reset me back before the Magic Cave, and thinking that I had dropped a save file, I, uh, well, <laughs> I, uh, I immediately, immediately tried to, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? I try. I, I tried to go into the save file, and that put me back to literally before the future arc. So I was like, "Well, I'm doing this anyway." Um. Oh shoot. Yeah, it put me back before the future arc. So I was like, "Why not?" Uh, why not record this fight again? This is one of my favorite fights in the game. Uh, the Mesa Moon fight was really poetic. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a really dumb word for me to use. But it is! It was really poetic for me. I also learned that I can, uh, ro rotate the box with this. Which is just the coolest thing. But, um... No, uh, the Mesa Moon fight for me was... It's interesting. I love the Mesa Moon fight. For me, it represents both of the, you know, like, in the game, I believe that one half equals, like, Mesa and Moon represent two, or symbolize two things, uh, two major key aspects of this sort of chapter of the game, the Magnus chapter of the game. Uh, I believe that one of them represents Frog's, uh, hey, basically his undying devotion to the queen and the king and how much he regrets leaving them and the other half is how much tata wanted to uh appeal to these people how much tata wanted to look cool and to sort of be the guy who was always on top of things and it, that that's what it represents to me, and you're literally fighting both of the lies uh, here in sort of this really epic showdown, uh, and then they form together to reveal your 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 desire, your desire to help them all, uh, which is exactly what uh, this game is sort of about. This game is all about facing yourself and overcoming your flaws and bettering yourself really a lot as as I play more into this game uh you'll you'll see that a whole heck of a lot more because this game is this game is crazy uh this game literally it changed my life this game was one of those games where I I was a messed up child and if we hit 100 subscribers I will tell y'all more about it uh cuz uh I, I intend to do a draw my life video or animate my life. I don't honestly know yet. Uh, but that, that that's what I intend to do. Um, and during it, I will explain... I'll explain bits and pieces of my childhood. I was a weird child growing up. Uh, but because of the things that happened in my past. And I don't even know if this... Sorry about that. Uh... I got caught up, some of the, my recording crashed, but, uh, no, basically, um, this game, for me, represented a time in my life when things really weren't, uh, the best. No, I hate this move. Okay, well, I'm screwed if... If she does not get up right now and quickly charge her meter, we're dead. Okay, well, that's bad. 
Okay, this way we'll survive it. Anyway, but no, this game... I related hardcore with a ton of characters in this game. Um... And I think I relate most to one of the characters we'll get on my team later. I'm not really going to say who it is, because I like him, and he's... Are you kidding me? Fuck off. Okay. No, that's it. We're dead. Yep. We lost. Pretty badly. Yikes. I was... Probably not the best idea going in there with little health. So, uh, let's quickly redo all this bit. But, uh, no, this, this game was interesting for me. And some of you, some of you are probably really angry with me. Uh, because I promised, um, shoot, can I not get back up here? Well, that's frustrating. Um, but I, I promised some of you. Uh, certain videos that I was going to make, and then I never actually got around to it. Just a lot of things got in the way. Life, finding a new job, settling into the job, uh, situation at home worsened. So I, I'm still going to make it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a while because I have to gather a ton of footage. And honestly, I'm slightly struggling at that. No, leave me alone. I don't care enough about you to fight you. Yeah. But, it's a fun time. Uh. No, but I am totally intending to do a video. Several videos, in fact. And I have yet to send a few messages just to make sure that things are working in order. And... Yeah. <coughs> Sorry. But my, my life, my life's difficult. I'm not getting enough sleep. I'm going to bed at 5 in the morning and then waking up at 7. Because I like waking up. I don't like waking up early. That's a lie. That is a big, bold-faced lie. But, uh, I attempt. And that's all that matters. So that is a counterattack. Okay. Uh, but that, that's really all that matters at the end of the day. Did I see quiet? Okay, no, I haven't got that yet. I was like, what the crap? Uh, strike you. And we're just gonna use a tonic. Okay, yeah, but, um... Honestly, th this fight's fun. And so I thought I'd record it again, because I've worked for... Really, I just sat down and did it all today. Because I've got nothing better to do. But... <laughs> which is... Tiny percent sad. Meh. Oh well. <sighs> Why am I doing nothing? Fire sword this fool. Ugh. Yeah, but as you can see, I gained a new ability, and with it, I, I've become really powerful. Uh, I'm actually, I think I'm ahead. I didn't think I had this ability during the last time I fought this. I grinded a little bit more in the future. Uh, not much. I did things a little out of order. Not by much. Um, but enough where it's still really cool. Well, I'm not going to waste my life on that, because, yep, I am confused. Uh, I really, I really don't want to use a lot of magic. But, you know, that's one of my favorite moves, by the way, the spin cut, especially when you mix it with elements, because it just looks so pretty. It's, it's a pretty move. And I am a-okay with that. Don't you kick me, boy. Jesus, bug off. Let me attack. I am definitely going to use Cure on Chrono. Okay. Now for the real fun. Now for the real fight. 
Uh, there's some of you, probably in the future, because nobody's commented on it now, but I can almost guarantee that one person out there is going to be really upset I'm not using Robo. Uh, he has his time, don't worry. Uh, I just like using these three for this arc of the story, because it, <laughs> they're my magic users. And guess what? Magic's super effective against monsters. Guess what we're fighting a lot of? Monsters. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do this, and then not Firewall, Fire Sword. Uh, Kier is a great ability. Kier is basically a mid-tonic, except powerfuler, because it's used by Marley, who's our mage. She's really our healer. She's our white mage of the group. Uh, Luca, I'd put almost as... Not really... Is she the jack of all trades? I don't think she's the jack of all trades. But I do think that she is a little bit more powerful than just a basic unit. Like, like she's she's the ninja class of Fire Emblem. That's what she is. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, her role in life. Powerful, speedy, really weak, really fragile. Not good on the midline. Okay. We're doing around almost 500 damage each attack, which is nice. Yeah, it's 450, but uh, it's 500 for calculation's sake. Because you still get to 10,000 even if you use... Uh, even if you use... Two of them. That's what I'm trying to say here. Hey, look who's learned. We're gonna use an E. Not on her. Oh well. That's what's so frustrating. I hit left thinking it's gonna go to Chrono, but it's moving up the list. Frustrating. There we go. We might as well use one Ice Sword, because Ice Sword looks just really cool. <laughs> I really wish there was a move that restored Ether. Uh, I know there's not, but I wish there was. Okay, Fire Sword. We're gonna just cure you up. Um, I'm actually, maybe I should just straight up go for... Uh, maybe I should go for an Aura Whirl next to go around. Right now, I'm doing that though, because she's dying, and that's no good. Oh, yeah, we are going to use Aura World twice. And I'm going to use a mid ether because Chrono, Chrono needs it. Chrono burns through MP at this point. Uh, just absolutely rips through it. And I always let him use his attack and then use Aura World because it's a pain either way. Can I put him to sleep? I don't think I can put bosses to sleep. Not even worth an attempt. You leave him alone. You leave our healer alone. We sort of need her. Uh, and if you could die soon, that'd be great. This is one of the more harder fights of the game. I think that my worst fights in this game go this one. Uh, a single duel that's optional that comes up later. Uh, and then probably Dark, that weird, that boss near the end of the game with the two hands. You, you, if you know what I'm talking about, then you already don't need to have a spoiler warning. But yeah, no, I think that that, bo that boss is annoying. I hate that boss. It is such a poor mechanic. It just frustrates me to no end. Um, we're good. Could be better, but we're good. We'll shoot him. Or hit him with a hammer. Break his kneecaps. I'm fine with this. Okay, ow. Yay for counter. Rage Bound on Chrono is such a good move. Uh, mostly because... Few things... Hey! There we go. 
But Rage Bound on Chrono is great. Having an auto, like a 50% counter as an item is really smart. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out how to use item, uh, how to program items in my game, so. Speaking of which, uh, wait, I learned Napalm again? Weird. These two are so cool. I wonder who raised them. Very weird. Right, I'm going to grab this, and I think that's where I ended off. So. Uh, which is good. Which is very, very good. No, but, uh, Chrono Trigger is one of those games where it's, uh, it's, it's, it's deeper than it looks, right? You play the game, and you can play through it, and you can miss a lot of the detail. Um, you can you can miss a lot of the story or the purpose of things, and that's bad. <laughs> that is not the best. I'm gonna remember to save this time right here. Y'all see me saving, and then I will drop a save state just to be good. Save uh, pick state number two one. Figure, uh, sorry, game, save state. Yes. Okay, there we go. Yeah, Todd and the Frog, this this chapter of the game, because I break things into chapters by the main bosses that they fight, and then there are sub-bosses, so this was the sub-boss of this level. But, uh, yeah. I think I could sell some of these. Whoa, Bent Sword? Oh, it's probably the other half of the Mesa Moon. I didn't even think about that. Anyway, I'm going to end it off here. Thank you all for tuning in. Sorry uh, that there hasn't been much content. I haven't been recording much because I've had to fix a lot of things. And I've been uh, <laughs> I've been procrastinating Majora's Mask because the next temple is my worst. Uh, there will be footage out this week. Uh, happy 4th of July to everyone. A lot of fireworks. I hate fireworks. Uh, if y'all have seen my winter video, I firework shock my system, and I, I, I'll make a separate video if you guys want to hear more about that, but yeah, no, that's, uh, that's something that I will need to fix later on in life, so thank you all again for watching, uh, make sure you comment, like, subscribe, we're getting close to 100, 100 is my goal, once we hit 100, we'll aim for... A thousand, but once we once we get a hundred, we'll we'll be pretty well. I think at that point I can open up a Patreon, uh, legally, <laughs> because I'll be eighteen. Because right now I don't want my parents' consent in my Patreon, because it's sort of my channel. It's the first thing I've really done, just sort of all on my own, and I, I'd like to keep it that way. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Uh, but yeah, I will see you guys, uh, later. So be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Stay safe. Happy 4th of July. And I will see you all then. Bye.